You're watching EVH Gear TV, brought to you by Mike's Music. Visit Mike's Music online for all your EVH and other gear needs. Microphones for EVH Gear TV are provided by Rode Microphones, and official Van Halen merchandise is provided by VanHalenStore.com. Now, here's your host from Ontario, Canada, EVH Gear artist Eric Broadbent. Hey everyone, the weekend is here. Happy Friday to you all. Good Friday afternoon to you. Um, coming to you doing a live product unboxing. There's something that almost did not happen today. I'm going to uh, show you a new piece of gear that just arrived. And um, fortunately and unfortunately, it arrived yesterday, but UPS delivered it to the wrong address. Um, and, as, and as upset as I was with UPS, because this has happened twice now, um, they delivered the wrong or the product to the wrong address, same address both times. I don't know how they mix it up. It's uh, clearly written on the package. However, UPS has uh, already reached out to me and is trying to make good on it. So I will leave it at that. Uh, so, you know, I did complain quite vocally because it was a pain. I had to travel 50 some odd miles today and took matters into my own hands and tracked the package down, found it, got it. And UPS has reached out to compensate me a little bit. So I'm very happy with that. So that's, that's positive. So this is a new piece of gear that's going to greatly, greatly improve not only the audio quality of the show. First and foremost, the audio quality has gone through the roof for good quality with the addition of Rode microphones. Uh, thank you, Rode uh, microphones. Matter of fact, I'm using one of the Rode wireless filmmaker kits right now. Um, you know, the lavalier mic that we don't have the big, this guy in front of my face at the moment because you won't be able to see the unboxing very well. So I rotate between that and, and the lapel mic. So that's been a huge uh, godsend to the show as far as the audio quality. I've been running for the longest time a very, very small mixer. Um, and by small, um, it's, I shouldn't say super, super small, but I mean only four XLR inputs. And I've got, I use two just on the, the 412 cabinet behind me back there, as you can see. I've got two mics there, you can see there. So there's two already taken right off the get-go. One here for the big mic off to the side. And then now one for the lav mic, which is also an XLR as well too. So that really limits me what I can do uh, with the show. If I get a guest mic back over there, um, I have to unplug something. So either unplug a cable from you know uh, uh, the lav mic or something of the sort. And it's it's kind of a drag. It's almost like having your USB docks on your on your uh, desktop, you know, and you're always having to remove one because you need one more space. It's nicer to buy a larger USB dock. Always buy larger than what you need. If you only have four devices, buy something that's going to hold it, that it takes eight. That we always have headroom, um, and uh, it just it just greatly greatly helps in that. So we're going to jump right into that. It is a piece of gear that's going to not only help the audio quality of the show, it is also going to bring a new feature to the show that I've been wanting to do for the longest time. But I was not going to do it half-ass. If I couldn't do it right, then I was going to wait. This will also allow me to do that. So let's jump right into it. And uh, it's been a, it's been a kind of an exasperating day. I can't do a long um, unboxing because I do have to get back to work here, but let's jump right in. And I will address everyone's comments over in the chat at the end of it. That way we can use the product unboxing the first half here. And then um, the people, they don't want to stick around for comments at the very end. They can skip after watching the video later on, but I will address everyone in the chat. And thank you for everyone jumping in. I appreciate it. Beautiful, beautiful day. I'm sure it is in most of your parts of the world right now. It's absolutely stunning. Like a summer day, it's our first day of fall here, obviously in Ontario, well, first day of fall period. But um, it's a beautiful fall day, it's like summer. Now I'm gonna try my best not to get, uh, the, okay, everything you can still see good, all right. Lots of paper to recycle. And I have to admit, this is packed very, very well. So before I even say, um, well, I'll say who this came from first, the distributor. This is from Ericsson Audio out of Montreal, um, Quebec. And I'll say who the product manufacturer is in a moment. Nice bubble wrap, I'll save that because I'm always shipping stuff out. Very, very nice. Okay, so this is actually checked off by people who inspected it. Very, very nice. All right, so I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna pitch the box off to the side because it's massive here. That's another nice, another nice advantage of using the wireless uh, lapel mic because I can do this. What we have here is the Personas Studio Live AR12 USB mixer. Uh, so this gives me actually 18 inputs, gives me eight ba um, balanced XLR inputs and the rest are all uh, line in. The very cool thing is two channels one and two also act as a USB interface for your guitar or bass. Another really cool feature about this mixer is each one of those eight outputs will go to your DAW of choice, in my case Logic, Logic Pro Audio, and I can send 
if I had, you know, a, a drum kit on four or six different channels and then maybe guitar and a vocal, I can run those all to individual tracks live in my uh, recording unit and it will also fully multi-track. It's not just a left and right stereo. Those would be all independent tracks, um, non-destructive, so I can edit them after. I can bring them back in and remix through here as well too. It has an effects unit built into it and also has an SD recorder. So every once in a while, if I want to record my shows and stick them up on the podcast, instead of actually doing it the old-fashioned way of opening it up in Adobe Audition, ripping up the video into an audio file, compressing it down, I can actually save it right to an SD card and then boom, throw it right up on iTunes right from there, definitely right there. Another cool feature of that SD feature is uh, if you're a band using this, a small band using this in a club, you could bring some MP3s and some backing music, whatever, and just use that for tracks in between your sets if you want, if you're the DJ of the evening as well too. So let's jump right into it. This is, um, I've been waiting for this like a, like a kid in a candy store because it's going to greatly, greatly, uh, and I'm going to tell you what one of the special channels are, which is going to improve the quality of the show. All right, so let's try to get in. So I'm going to try to preserve this box. You get stuff this expensive, you want to kind of save the boxes. Let's get right into it. Is that a USB cable? Yes, yeah, that's nice. It actually comes with a USB cable. Not everything comes with USB cables these days, so great. That's awesome. Saves me going to the store to buy one of those. A power supply. Actually, your standard AC power cord. And what I like about this compared to my last mixer, my last mixer didn't even have a power switch. If you wanted to turn it off, you had to unplug it. And that's that's kind of a drag too. So this has a power switch on the back. Well, I like that. Little tiny things, but it's a great feature. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm gonna try carefully to do this one or two-handed here. Oh, yeah, it's heavy. Quite heavy. I'll leave that here so we can see the box. Quite heavy for its size. It's labeled 22 pounds on the box, so it's got some weight to it. I'm hearing something rattling a little bit. Well, it's just like silica gel, I think, so that's cool. I hope that's what it was. Doesn't sound like anything rattling now. So let's have a... Oh, there is something rattling inside there. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. We'll have to investigate that further. Okay, I'm going to carefully peel off the tape here. Try to stand it up here as well. So you guys saw that first. There was something rattling that right from the box. And it sounded like metal. That could be a solder joint. That could be a piece of plastic. I don't know what it is. But we'll have to investigate that further after. So the sliders are very, very smooth. One thing I love about Personas, very, very smooth. Another bonus of this mixer compared to what I had. Let's try to move it over a bit more. So this way here, I guess. Um, I didn't even have mutes on my channel. So a lot of times when you saw me doing the live broadcasts, you would see me, I would say, okay, I'm going to have to roll my mic back. So let's say I've got my guitars on two and three, and I got the gain up pretty good, right? Uh, is that the gain there? Can't even see. Is that pan? Oh, okay, that's the effects end. But let's just say it was the gain, okay? There we go, up here. Uh, let's say I had the gain on two and three up to about there for my guitar amps, and then I'd have my vocal up. So I'd say, okay, now I have to roll my vocal back. Now I can just simply mute my vocal, or I can mute the two guitar mics as well. That way I don't have the, the hiss of the amp coming through and it's just it's just nice. I don't have to roll those back as well and try, or sorry, roll them back here and try and guess uh, where I was. And the reason why I'm reaching down here all the time, that's where my gains were on my old mixer so you can see where I'm kind of trained. Uh, so love that, love it to death. There's pre-fader listen, there's two monitor sends, there's an auxiliary send and an effect send. Obviously there's your uh, SD card. Here's the big feature right here. So before I explain this feature here of the, they call it the super channel, I've already created a new Skype account uh, strictly for the show, and it's going to be uh, guests, uh, plural, at evhgear.tv. So if you want to be a guest on the show to call in and ask questions, there's going to be a 30-minute segment on each show. I won't be doing that as, as of tonight. It's just too fast to get everything implemented. But I'm going to be using a, um, this is a Bluetooth channel, okay? So what I'm going to do there is I have a Skype account created on my phone and on my iPad, an additional Skype account. People will call in at a certain period of time, 
uh, let's say, 9 30, late 9.30 or 10 o'clock during the show, and they can ask the guests questions. It'll be brought in via Bluetooth to the Super Channel. And the cool thing about this, there's other people that are trying to do you know, live questions and things like that in various talk shows. Uh, some of them work, some of them don't. The good thing is with this one, the guest that I'm speaking to, uh, that is my guest for the evening, he or she will hear the caller's question, and so will the audience, so will I. Everyone through this channel will get to hear the question. It goes back out to the audience, goes to the viewer, and even the person asking the question will hear everything back as well too. So that's going to be brought in through the Super Channel, which is all Bluetooth. Could not ask for uh, a cooler feature. So that alone sells it for me right there. Um, just love to death that feature. Sweepable mids on each of the major channels here as well too. So you can actually tailor in your mid frequencies uh, with the sweepable mids. Uh, low cut on most, uh, several of them as well too. So if you're having like a super high gain mic um, or you know if you're running bass guitar or whatever as well too, you can use your low cut um, inserts on all the channels. Just love it. Phantom power, which is incredible. You know, 48 volt phantom power to power your condenser microphones like you see me use here. Um, on the regular show, um, but the super channel is going to be the, the main feature for sure. I'm a little concerned with that rattle inside. That to me sounds like a screw, and I'm, I'm quite concerned about that. So I'm going to get a hold of um, I'm going to get a hold of Ericsson today, the distributor, and just let him know about that uh, to see if I can open it without voiding the warranty. Because to me, it honestly just sounds like a screw. I'd rather it be a screw than a, a cold solder or a solder joint that's broke off because in most cases a screw might be fine to not use. I mean, it's, there's probably four or six holding the same part on, but uh, if it's a solder joint, then there's probably something missing. So I will at least, I don't even know if I want to power it up yet because of that, it could, it could arc something over. But there you go, the Studio Live AR12 USB from Personas, a heavy beast, 24 bit, 96 kilohertz, I've got more inputs than what I need here for the show. The sad thing is, is I have to <laughs> find room now on my desk because I use, normally have another PC over here. I'm control, I'm broadcasting right now through Mac, but I run the starting stopping of the show and things like that on my PC. And there's, I have to pull this mixer off, which I'm using cur currently, the small one, and I have to find room for this plus the computer. So I've got a challenge ahead of me. On the back, as you can see, the one thing I like a lot is the standard AC jack and a power switch, which I absolutely love. I could not do that before. I had to unplug my mixer and I never really did unplug it. I just let it stay on all the time and it actually heated up quite a bit. You could put your hand on the mixer and you could almost uh, cook toast on it. It's that hot, the old mixer that is. So there we go, guys and girls. That is the Studio Live AR12 mixer from Personas. And if all goes well, I'm hoping so, I'll be using this tonight on the show. I won't be using a live caller feature tonight. It's just too quick to implement, but I will be having that as, I'm gonna probably do some testing over the weekend, uh, have some fun guests on the weekend just for a fun hangout, and we'll test the feature then and see what's happening. So that being said, thank you for watching the unboxing. I'm gonna jump over to the chat and say hi to everybody real quick. So we've got FNAF Gamer saying, yo, what's up? Mike Ray's jumping in. Justin Grady says, hey, Eric and everyone. Rich Data says, how's everyone doing today? Very, very good, Rich. Bruce is jumping in saying, hello, Eric. Crazy UPS story. It was. Um, and for you, those of you that are just jumping in, um, I'll, I'll give you the story and I'll, and I'll, I'll uh, tell you how UPS has made good on it. Um, you know, I did vent my frustrations. So this was fast. This came from Montreal, Quebec. Uh, overnight, it was shipped. What day is today? Friday. It was shipped Wednesday. It was here in my small town Thursday. So overnight from one province to another, like super, super fast. Unfortunately, I was watching the tracking, watching the tracking, watching the tracking all day yesterday, as we all do when we're waiting for something from uh, from a courier. And then all of a sudden it says delivered and the, uh, the notice on the tag says met customer man. That's what it said. I can't make that crap up. It says met customer man, okay. Well, I called UPS and I said, yeah, I'm, I'm not the customer. I am the customer man, but I'm not the customer man who received the product. So then it was technically lost. So they filed, uh, they opened up an investigation. I called them back again several times today. And they said, uh, well, it's, it's a lost parcel investigation, whatever. Um, you know, we'll have to open a case. It's going to take seven plus days. And then we'll have to go into resolutions, you know, blah, 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 disputes and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, oh, come on. So I took matters into my own hands. I drove to the old city where I used to live, which is the closest uh, UPS distribution center. We have a UPS store there and we have a UPS distribution center. And I drive into the city, I get there, they've moved. I was like, oh geez, not even there anymore. Google them real quick, found out where they were. Drove across the city to the new location, get there and it says open from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And I was like, oh great, this is just not my day. It's just seriously not encouraging me to get this. And I figured it'd be much better to go through local as opposed to head office. Just sometimes local team tends to know more than what the, the big brother or big sister is doing. 
saw a lady in there cleaning, just spraying some stuff, whatever, like the big bay door is open, but they're technically closed, up to the public at least. I said, excuse me, do you work here? And she disappears. Another lady comes out and I said, I know, I'm sorry you're closed. Would you mind just helping me here? And I had my, my you know, all the information I printed off the internet and said, um, I have a feeling I know what's happened here, but you know, can you at least help me try to find this package? She looked at it right away and she was like, oh, I know exactly what happened. The drivers did that before because I had a package come in from Idea Bench. Uh, Rick sent me a package a while back. I was just, uh, all I was waiting for was um, that dual lock material to fasten my pedals to the pedal board, and it was crucial that I had this. I had to receive it at a certain time so I could have the pedals installed for my demo I was doing. So it was very crucial. I got it at a certain time. It was planned and everything like that. So it went to the same place again. That's the the misdelivered address. So. Um, so she tells me the address. I drive back to my hometown. I go to the place where uh, of the wrong delivery, and I said, "Hey, by chance, is there a package here?" Blah blah blah. And they remembered me from the address before, and they said, "Let him let me call shipping and receiving," because this is a big factory where it went to. So they call shipping and receiving, and they said, "Yeah, there's a package here for Eric and EVH Gear TV." Um, they sent me like basically around a block to go to the shipping and receiving area. I get back there. There's this giant box with my name on it, EVH Gear TV. Grabbed it. Come back. And I, uh, I let, yeah, so right now at this point, the UPS driver is going to be probably coming back to, to pick it up. It's going to be gone. He's not going to know where it is. And um, he's probably going to come to my door saying, you know, we lost your package. And I'm going to tell him, just like I told UPS, well, I did the job for, I did your job for you. I tracked it down. I got it. Um, and I let UPS know that. And they've already reached out to me and offered to credit me uh, for some of my time. So um, I won't say what that is, but they've, they've made good in my opinion. They've made good. And I will, I will uh, stand behind that. So crazy day crazy day um let me see here um iman's jumping in saying hey all uh, mike ray saying hi to bruce james is uh messaging me from ottawa jumping in saying hi he says i love fall me too it's like summer though here right now it's hotter than heck and it is um uh let me see here it is i lost my train of thought because i'm reading james james comedy says put the bubble wrap under your chair and roll over it you're a, you're a kid aren't you you're a little kid I, I will do that later for sure. I, I like popping bubble wrap. I usually like waiting for the boy to get home and then when he's not seeing me do it, I'll put it on the floor and I'll jump on it right beside him and then he goes through the roof. Uh, Blimpus Rock video says, hello, Eric. Paul Glover says, hi, everyone. Uh, and hi, hi to me as well. Humbucker Lover, hey, buddy. Uh, says, hello and happy Friday to you, Will. Uh, Paul Glover says, hey, Will, Humbucker Lover. Hey, Paul, good idea talking to your fans. Uh, that um, That's what I wanted to start doing. Uh, Scary Groove, hey, man. He says, hey, guys. Um, Scary Groove and I were kind of fortunate the other day. We got a nice exclusive, thanks to Michael Sweet from Striper and Sweet and Lynch. Um, as far as I know, the world exclusive. Um, talking about the uh, Sweet and Lynch, uh, Striper, Lynch Mob tour plans. I won't say what they are. They're on both of our channels at scarygroove.com and also here on the YouTube channel. There's two different videos. There's the full video with Michael Sweet. I had him on last Friday. And then there's a little seg uh, snippet segment that I made strictly for Scary Groove, and it talks about the exclusive news. And there's been a couple news agencies already that have picked it up, on, picked up on it. Sleaze Rock is one. Um, a few other uh, news networks are picking it up. So it's nice to see them picking up some stuff off my channel. Uh, certainly adds to the uh, the growth here for sure. Uh, Single Coil Lovers jumping in says people love being able to ca uh, call him Humbucker Lover. It's very popular. Uh, Chase Ombre says, Hey Eric. Um, hey Chase, and the cool thing I'm looking forward to it, it will be Bluetooth, so it's going to be as clear as what you're hearing me speak right now. It's going to be that clear and every party will hear the uh, the guest. Uh, the Bluetooth is going to be absolutely amazing. So it's going to be basically digital audio in and out as opposed to, you know, a microphone picking it up. Uh, David Ennis is saying, hey Eric, uh, Jack Shea Martin, hey great stream watching in school. Uh oh, <laughs> all right, uh, don't get in trouble. Uh, don't let the professor or teacher or whatever, whatever school you're in uh, get, give you heck. Uh, David N says, hey, Leanne, and Blimp is Rock Video says, can't wait for tonight's show. Looking forward to it, too. And for those of you that don't know, I've got uh, Jeff Waters from Annihilator, um, basically uh, C Canada's uh, Metallica, I guess, or even heavier. Um, you know, maybe you might want to put up there with Slayer and Anthrax or something of the nature. Amazing. Jeff is an incredible, incredible musician, a, a killer guitar player, uh, now lead vocalist. It's going to be great. Sinner is jumping in. Uh, it's giving the horns up. So, uh, Sinner, if you're just jumping in now, what you're seeing here is the Persona Studio Live AR-12 USB mixer uh, with a multi-track recorder, uh, built-in effects, the whole kit and caboodle, the Bluetooth uh, 4.1 um, super channel, which will allow me to import my live callers now via Bluetooth. It's going to be great. A little concerned because there's a little rattle in here, but I'm going to address that uh, this afternoon here. I'm going to get a hold of them, see if I can take the back off and not void the warranty and see what that is. 
But uh, that's it. That's it, guys and girls. I look forward to seeing you tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on the channel. Jeff Waters from Annihilator is coming on. And shortly after that, in the coming weeks, we've got Derek Sharunian from Dream Theater and Sons of Apollo, who are just all over the world right now in a media blitz. And one of the world's most iconic bass players, Rudy Sarso, is coming on the program. So, uh, and there's no rest for the wicked. I've also booked a couple other guests. Uh, this is, uh, I've only talked about uh, this particular person a couple different times as far as uh, his guitar level. Um, I don't want to give too much of a hint because if I say where he ranks on my favorites of guitar players, it'll be too easy to guess who I'm talking about, but I've got a superstar coming on the show. I just can't announce it yet because I don't have the date booked, but the uh, everything is, uh, all the I's are dotted and the T's are about to be finished to be crossed. So it's going to be an amazing, amazing fall run for EVH Gear TV. Um, yes, and Sinner says, bet someone left off a screw. That's probably what it is. It does sound exactly like a screw, but I want to get, um, I want to get Ericsson's, um, okay first so that I can take the back off it. It's, hopefully it's just simple screws. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws on the back that hold the back on it. And I'll be very careful to take them off and, uh, I'll get their permission to, um, to do that. So I don't void my warranty. All right, guys, girls, see you tonight, nine o'clock. And have a fantastic afternoon. Cut out of work early if you can. Tell your boss, EVA to care TV says it's okay. And while they're looking up to see who that is, maybe they'll just agree for it. And then after they find out that I'm nobody and I should have not given you time off of work, they'll talk to you on Monday. But you've got a few days to uh, to catch up on the boss or get a head start on the boss. And call in sick on Monday too. Then he'll forget about it by by uh, Tuesday. And I shouldn't say he'll forget about it because that's uh, I, it's uh, it, it could be a it could be a lady as well too. So um, your boss could be a woman. So him or her. You can, uh, you can duck the boss until Tuesday. Get out of work as fast as you can. Come and see me tonight. I'm going to turn over to the little man. He's going to tell us what his name is, what he's playing. And see you soon. Cheers. Hey, my name is Eric, and I'm playing the Frankenstrat guitar. Video production services provided by Design 39 Media. Visit design39media.com for all your website, photography, and video production needs.